that long day behind you. Good times lie ahead. With company worth keeping, that I bash a smile on your head. Come on in, the doors open. You'll find just the finest folks here. Pull up a chair, grab a drink, and let our stories your ear. Cause we're the talk, talk, talk in the tavern. Here you're always welcome. The talk, talk, talk in the tavern. Promising beer and bed love. The talk, talk, talk in the tavern. Music, medicine, then some to talk, talk, talk the tavern. The song's over. Here we come. Well, hello and welcome to the tavern, you beautiful people. And we are a group of people who get together on a regular basis, raise a drink, a topic, and laugh at things we probably shouldn't. And each other. I'm Travis Sivart, your host, and tonight my vices are on this beautiful, what kind of fucking pipe is this? Uh, it's a bent, I don't know what brand it is, it's actually a cheap pipe, about $40, but it's really good, and I got some Cornell and Deal Dark Cherry Cavendish, my other vice is water right here in this beautiful 20 ounce Tavern Society tumbler that you too can have, anyhow, check that out, what about you, Andrea? Oh, hi. So, Andrea LaChat here. My vices are I am drinking a big old cup of Mad Hatter tea, and I am knitting with my new knitting needles. I'm very happy. We love that Mad what Hatter tea, you, don't we? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he's been a longtime supporter of the tavern, and we've been a long supporter of his. Sorry, I didn't mean to step on your intro there. Mm -mm. No, not at all. Because. I'm starting to figure out for a bunch of drugs. Man, we're really lightweight because my vice tonight is ginger ale. Mm -hmm. Maria says her vice today is water, which I'm consuming from my tavern glass. Oh, you finally got it. Yay. And uh, uh, she also says string isn't strong enough. Should use rope instead. I don't know what that's all about, but I like where her head's at. And she also says, soda pop is one that can build up calorie sugars in your system more than you think. Mm -hmm. uh, same as switching from cream to milk in your coffee. Yeah, I probably should get off the creamer and just go to milk. Anyhow, I, I like it so fresh speaking from... Speaking of alcohol... Yeah. You know? Fresh from the cow. Um, Speaking of alcohol, so over the weekend, I had my first espresso martini. It's my new favorite. My two favorite things, like coffee and alcohol. So there you go. I don't know. It's very good. So speaking of alcohol, let's raise our glasses here to the delicious things that we find sweet in our life that we like to put in our mouth. Not just you, Andrea, but other things, too. <laughs> so our topic tonight, as everybody in chat, because we do have a live chat, we are live streaming this when we're recording the podcast. And as chat knows, if they've used that topics command, the first topic we have for tonight's show is cake or death. Wait, no, cake or pie. What do you prefer, cake or pie, and why, and then expand on it, then argue with each other? That kind of format, you know, good times. What about you, Ed? What do you like? Okay. Um, well, see, I've, I, I'm leaning toward pie because I've had a number of women in my life to offer me their pie, but not their cake. So pie is certainly up there near number one okay i'm curious in a sexual connotation what would cake be i don't know i mean for slang i, I know it's a not, slang for money may back not in want the... to know. Yeah. Mm. okay you know what maria is going right there right now we're, we're <laughs> going to give it a moment before we read that comment we're going to let us cover this stuff and then we'll get to all that maria what about you andrea cake or pie so, cake is a lie, so always pie. But also, Ed, um, there, are, there are songs in slang, I guess, talking about cake by the ocean. Cake is sex. 
Oh, cake just... So either way, you can't go wrong. It's just okay, sex. So... Yeah, whatever. Oh, speaking of pussy, hold on. One one's out of the... I uh, can have my cake and room. eat my pie, too. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I, I got you there. <laughs> and he's gone. And he's back. He is gone. So what about you, Travis? Cake or pie? Oh, pie all the way. <clears throat> I am a pie guy. Um, <clears throat> and Maria says, Googles it. Cake is apparently ass, according to Urban Dictionary. So again, I'm still going to say I'm a pie guy. And my favorite pie, <clears throat> good cheesecake, but especially like a key lime. Uh, I do love pumpkin pie, hot apple pie with like a French vanilla or vanilla bean melting on top of it and soaking into that crust. Oh, oh. You know, I would say I like that. <clears throat> what is that? Wit French chocolate eclair pie. What is that called? Death. No, no. <clears throat> it, it's like. Do you say death? Death. Depth. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. I like pie too, but I'm not into like the sweet pie. I like the more savory pie, like shepherd's pie. Okay, we're gonna go here with this quick. Okay, we're okay. gonna go here already. Do you, do you want to read the comments Ed, or you want me to? Oh, go ahead and read that one, especially. I'm gonna start and read them in order because Maria, like, okay, <clears throat> 19 seconds into the show, she's throwing it in the chat. Is meat pie an option? Because if there's one thing that woman likes to shove in her pie, it's meat. So, because if so, mm. pie, because you can make a whole meal, or a chicken pot pie. And then she has a definition from Urban Dictionary. Pie. A pie is a sweet and or savory thing meant to have filling and meant to be eaten. Can be pastry or pussy meant to be filled and eaten. I'm there. I tell you what, I do not like to eat the pussy after I have filled it with something. <laughs> if I'm going to have a cream pie, I want it to be the kind that is in a tin that gets thrown in my face for comedy purposes. Not something, but that's just me. Okay, this show is going there already. So do you kiss her after she's filled her mouth with you or something? You know what? Don't want to, but absolutely. <laughs> Unless if she's like holding it on her tongue, because I don't even want that if it's like McDonald's fries that I'm like, oh, I love McDonald's fries. And she's like, you want to kiss me? <laughs> McDonald's fries in my mouth. I'm like, no. <laughs> Swallow that. And don't leave little chunks in your teeth that I can find. It's not supposed to have chunks in it, Travis. Let's talk about the French fries. Yeah. See a doctor if you got chunks in it. <laughs> it's... It sounds like this when I come. <laughs> like a hailstorm. Yeah, and Maria says some people are into that, Travis. Um, yeah, absolutely. Some people love a cream pie. They love to have sex, jizz inside, and then lick it out. And good for them. Please, enjoy that. On the other hand, some people like spicy spicy food like jalapenos and some people don't all i'm just saying is that's not my kind of cream pie that i'm like mm, you know what i really want to laugh up right now not that excuse me and maria says real women swallow just saying and i will add to that in all fairness real men swallow because prison <laughs> Okay, we're oh, done with the top. Yes. Silence. <laughs> Eleven right. minutes in, let's wrap up this topic and get out of here. <laughs> I tried to make it last. I tried to get some foreplay in here. Let's talk about cake for a second. And not the ass, so we can talk about the ass too. When you have cake, what is what is what is your preferred cake style format? 
like any cake or like only hostess or little debbie cakes or what do, what do you guys like okay so here's the question yes pies are my favorite apple pie cherry pie pecan pie key lamb pie uh lemon meringue pie pot pie is really my favorite what the fuck is cheesecake is it a pie or a cake oh look at you just yes. being like that it has a crust it's a pie But what there's about crust, crustless cheese cakes. <laughs> That's called phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pie. It, it's a pie. Okay, because okay. cheesecake is my favorite. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Boston it's cream pie. It's in the name. Boston it's cream pie is name. what I was thinking. It's a donut. What? <laughs> a donut is a cake. Just like it is. muffins. But why is it called pie? It's bald cake. What? It's a bald cake. A muffins are bald cake. Oh, I thought you were talking about donuts. You said muffins. Yeah, okay, both Andrea and Maria says cheesecake, they think it's cake because it's actually in the name. Yeah, it's a disguise. Because more people like pie than cake. So cheesecake is like, I'll hide over here next to the cake. I'm not really a pie, guys. I am just smooth, rich, thick, creamy <laughs> cake with no flour at all. The cake is a lie. You're a tart, Maria. <laughs> By the way, hello, Frosty. Frosty, you have come into the live recording of the podcast for Tavern Society. So the topic is cake or death. I mean, cake or pie. Shout out to Eddie Izzard. Who, from what I understand, is not going by Eddie anymore. But that's another show, another topic for another time. Um, so, yeah. So on pie, do you have to have a topping on it? Like no. whipped cream? No. Or ice cream? Don't have to. It just makes it better. No. If it's pie, I'm going to put a topping on it. <laughs> and we're talking about the dessert, right? <laughs> oh, okay. We're, we're okay. We're back sure. on topic. Now. Okay, sorry. Something just made a disconnect noise. What the fuck was that? What did you touch, g -Rap? Anyhow. Um, uh -oh. Okay, Frosty throws in there with love ice cream cake. God damn, I love ice cream cake. <laughs> but only if it has those little chocolate yes. crumbly crunchies in the middle. Oh, man. Oh, man. So. Well, there's different types. Mm -hmm. There's that type that has the crumblies. But I like where it's a layer of cake, a layer of ice cream, a layer of cake. Mm -hmm. A layer of ice cream. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear chocolate crumblies in there at all. Yeah, because no. That's because you're wrong. It's okay. We could, what the hell is making that noise? What noise? What? I don't know what's touching what. I think it's g -Raph. I don't. I don't. Um, we hear no noise. g -Raph, are you making a disconnect noise? We'll find out. So... Does anybody remember Carvel? Were you guys, did you have Carvel ice cream shops back in the day? Back in, back Do you in the remember day, yeah. Fudgy the Whale? Yeah. Maria says, uh, sorry to disagree with you, Andrea, but I'm with Travis on this one. You need the chocolate to make it good. That's what I tell all the ladies. Well, you can have some chocolate cake in there, not, not the crumbles, so. Gotta have like the full layer of cake. <laughs> Maria wants ice cream cake now. There you go. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so now I want to go make cake, cupcakes. And Maria wants ice cream cake. And I just want pie. Any kind of pie. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I love blueberry muffins. Okay, guys, don't go anywhere. Give us a minute. Don't go nowhere. I must ask you a question. Nope. Shave it for later. So I've had a handlebar mustache for more than 10 years at this point in time. And it is one feature that has drawn people of all walks of life, young and old, every race, religion, and background will come up to me and comment on it in a good way, in a great way. This mustache has allowed me to meet more people than any other single feature I have. It's been an incredible thing. And since I started doing it, when I tested a dozen different mustache waxes, I chose Firehouse Mustache Wax as the one for me. They have different thicknesses, different colors, and the one I love is tacky because it's a lot easier for me to use to rub into my mustache, etc. And if you ever need tips on this, I'm here for you guys. But Firehouse Mustache Wax is also got a code up there of Travis15. That's Travis15 for you to get 15% off your mustache wax order. And they do have other things too. Go check them out. And you can find them at firehousemustachewax.com. That's firehouse mustache, M O U S T A C H E wax.com. Firehousemustachewax.com. Grab your own mustache wax, style it up, and, uh, Start making those connections you never knew were even possible. And happy waxing. And we're back about the after those messages from Firehouse Mustache Wax. Make sure you try it and use that discount code that we have out there if you want to have a great looking mustache. I uh, just felt like that should be our sponsor tonight, considering, as Ed pointed out, how well a uh, mustache ride goes with pie. Yes, it does. So, um... Did, did we cover all the types of cakes, like from muffins to ice cream cakes to donuts to freestanding cakes to eating ass? I don't think well, we covered eating ass, but yeah, that might be a little too personal for some. I tell you what, that's one you never want frosting with. True. Especially if it's chocolate frosting. Oh. <laughs> you don't like that. <laughs> so. Mm. Hey, folks, say good night. <laughs> that would not be a good night. That'd be a horrible night, in my opinion. Yeah. Two girls, one cup, and cake. So. That's fake. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my favorite cake, I like it light and fluffy. And for the frosting, yeah, Ed, back it up away from that. We're backing away from that, Ed. <laughs> oh, okay. We're, we're not backing it up. We're backing away from it. Um, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, Maria loves that I gave a shout out to that memory from the past there. Don't you, Maria? Um. <clears throat> I like light and whipped frosting. I don't want it to be heavy and thick. Like, so most, most birthday cakes, I'm like, just give me a piece out of the middle. I don't want the edge with all that frosting because it's just like grease with coloring. It's Crisco. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Unless you make your frosting I don't, cool whip. Mm, see, that's... Yeah, I don't, I don't like frosting on cakes. I scrape it all off, or when I make cake for me, no no frosting. And I don't do that. Earlier, uh, Maria mentioned carrot cake. Would you I, like mm. donuts, uh... I feel like banana bread should be okay. cake. Would you call banana bread cake? But it's bread. It's bread. Isn't all cake bread? It's just a matter of are you slicing it in slices or little squares? Can you make a sandwich with it? Yes, you can. Because you bread. could 
put ice cream between it. <laughs> called an ice cream cake. Yeah, it's called an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> it's a fucking sandwich. Um, Maria likes butter frosting. One made with the whip stuff is gross, in my opinion. Tao also doesn't like frosting or icing either, unless it's smooth as silk buttercream. Okay, a good buttercream. Yeah, butter that could be a little thicker and heavier, and that's okay. Yeah. Uh, what what's the diaper candy one that you hate? Mars pan, Ew. or fondant fondant. Yeah, who decided that's to put so these gross. on cake? They're like, if frosting grew up to be plastic. Right. Well, it makes it pretty. You just peel it off. You open it's like opening a present. Just peel it off. Then you can just throw it like a fruit roll up at somebody's face and see if it sticks. Do some damage. <laughs> That's true. You could sharpen that into a shiv and have a jailbreak. Yep. You'll no longer have to eat that prison cake if you know what I mean. Ed, what's your cake? What's your go to cake? Oh, cheesecake. Let's go with this. It's one. a cake. So when we're looking at different pastries across the board, when you walk into <clears throat> a 7-Eleven or a convenience store and you see all those cheap, nasty, single-wrapped pastries, what's mm -hmm. the one you're always going to grab and enjoy? Those little cinnamon crumb cake. They're great with coffee. Okay. Oh, the coffee cake things. Yeah. Yeah. I used to love the cheese danishes till it was new and improved with 60% less cheese in it. <laughs> now it's yeah, like somebody yeah. sneezed at it with good wishes and put extra dough on top. They sneezed at it with good wishes. Yeah. All right. No, so, you know, the little Debbie cakes, the Swiss rolls, yeah. it's really good if you peel off that nasty frosting. <laughs> I don't like the outer of it. It's gross. <laughs> Emery, I think, excuse me, I think uh, an eclair would be an option. You know, we're looking at things you could pick up in a, a convenience store. They usually have a donut display where you could grab something like that. Mm -hmm. I no longer like. She likes creamy field chocolate. That's <laughs> my girl. <laughs> I, I no longer like Little Debbie or what? Who is it that makes Swiss rolls? Is that Little Debbie? Yeah, Little Debbie makes them. I think Hostess. Hostess. Is still that's around. the other one. Yeah. I don't like them anymore since they moved away from real sugar and went to high fructose corn syrup as their sweetener. Yeah. It's a very different taste, and yeah. it's just it it doesn't have that fullness, that richness that it once had. Like my no, but wall. Twinkies are okay. <laughs> aren't aren't they gone? Or did I know somebody bought it and tried to bring them they back? They came back. They came back. They were they, gone. Yeah, they're back. So, okay, they try to fancy up Twinkies, and then you see the box. So it's like this lovely sponge cake, and then there's like this little brown middle, or this little pink middle. I'm like, no, no. He likes the white or, in the middle. Yeah. It, it's got to have the white in the middle. But then, have you had a deep fried Twinkie? That's a game changer. Yeah, you're a Southern boy. Like, You've had boys. everything deep fried, right? You've had deep fried Coca Cola and deep fried Snickers. Not a deep fried Twinkie. Can't say that. I like my uh, the Twinkies dive, and the number five, just plain. That's all. <laughs> okay so here's a quick question maria says unrelated but should you burn off the oil from a cast iron pan after using it asking because i need to know if i should be leaving the house and saving the animals we can answer this out loud ed use mornings, cast iron all the time should you burn off the oil of a well i don't usually burn off the oil i just sort of wipe it out Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to burn it out because then it's going to burn to your cast iron. Right, it, it will burn. You want to uh, season it. 
you want to put light oil in there and heat it up, but then you let it cool and wipe but, it. But yeah, heat it in the oven. If if you need to season it, heat it in the oven on like two hundred with a light coat of oil on it. Or real slow. If it starts to smoke, you need to turn it off because it's starting to burn rather than season. Yeah. And then you can make cornbread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that a cake or or bread? Or I'd have I, I'd have to say cake is bread. And so it's a cake. Oh, I love cornbread. I love sweet cornbread. So... That dry, nasty other cornbread, not so much. Mm -hmm. When it just crumbles and it has like no flavor, I'd rather just have corn, okay. please. It's <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So final thoughts on this topic. Cake or pie. Guys. Yes. I just like to have my cake and eat my pie too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that answer. I'm okay with that answer. It's uh yeah, I I, I like smaller pastries at Maria says tart. <laughs> Which I guess is like a fruit filled pastry of some sort, right? That's mm -hmm. or just Maria. Those are both tarts, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna play the outro music, and here's what I'm gonna say: is make sure you check us out on TravisSivart.com. Last name same as the first, spelled backwards. You can find my books, Sci-Fi and Fantasy, there. You can find all of the podcasts there. And you can also find where we record this with our live chat audience. So join us every week for this. And uh, come hang out with us. Have a good time. And we'll catch you next time. Closing toast is, here's to enjoying what you put in your mouth. I'm not a thermos for you. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hey.